new lifeguard rules for local private gyms are moving into place, spurred directly by the death of a Las Vegas woman. You're watching 8 News Now at 11. I'm Denise Valdez. I'm Brian Loftus. The approval of those guidelines previously obstructed by a lengthy court legal battle about just who oversees and who regulates gym pools in Las Vegas. Tonight, 8 News Now reporter James Schaefer has a deeper look at those recently approved plans, James. Brian Denise, the Las Vegas Athletic Club submitted several proposals to the Southern Nevada Health District previously rejected. Tonight, we look at just what exactly will be enforced. Gym members tell 8 News now the water is back in the pools at their Las Vegas Athletic Club after the Health District approved a new lifeguard plan. Those pools closed following a Health District investigation, which uncovered a near drowning of a member at the Rainbow LVAC location and the death of 58-year-old Letitia Triplett at the Decatur location. Triplett's struggle and drowning captured on video obtained by 8 News Now, the health district arguing the circumstances surrounding her death were preventable. In 46 years, there has not been a drowning event. Following legal action in an attempt to take the health district's findings to a higher court, the pools deemed potentially harmful due to lack of lifeguards. In response, the LVAC was required to submit a plan to hire lifeguards. According to the plan, two lifeguards hired at each location must operate within 60-minute rotations, be 20 seconds away from reaching each swimmer, and be responsible for placing barriers when the pools close twice a day. This while the same live feeds, which allegedly failed triplet remaining in place, and in the event of a camera going down, staff must go to the pool area during those closed hours. The communities need to invest in their lifeguards. They need to pay them better, give them incentives to come out and have this wonderful lifestyle. However, the hiring of those lifeguards a tall task amid a nationwide lifeguard shortage. But the health district saying hire them or close the pools for good. Now, previously, the LVAC argued in court that this would bankrupt them, costing around $150,000 per month per location. The health district has since disputed that claim. Brian? James, thank you. The LVAC claiming that she died as a result of the gym's negligence, but the company argues she died from a heart attack, not a drowning.